The burning cars and debris which littered the streets of Kramatorsk were evidence of what looked like a day of heavy fighting between Ukrainian soldiers and pro-Russia separatists. Vehicles and tires had become makeshift barricades set alight to try to keep the government troops at bay. There are a lot of victims from both sides, from the civilians and from the fighters at the checkpoint. People who were simply going to work were injured. There were a lot of injured and a lot of dead. They were shooting at buildings from the tanks for about half an hour. A stockpile of petrol bombs was on hand to throw at any soldiers who came near. It didn't stop the advance of the Ukrainian armoured vehicles, nor did the angry chants of residents. Ukrainian checkpoints are now controlling traffic in and out. But not all traffic has been halted. After eight days in captivity, a convoy carrying a team of OSCE observers did make it through. On a roadside north of Donetsk, they embraced freedom with an overpowering sense of relief. A carefully choreographed handover bringing an end, the eight-day captivity of the OSCE observers. You can imagine its happiness, uh, deep relief. Um, on the situation, it was really tough. Uh, the last two nights, um, as we saw the situation developing, then every minute gets longer. And uh, finally, uh, with the cooperation of all the key players, it uh, went perfectly. I thank you very much. The men looked calm but tired. The tension of their captivity and the nerves as their freedom came closer was obvious to see. They had been detained by the self-proclaimed separatist mayor of Slavyansk, Vacheslav Panamaryov. The released men said Panamaryov had kept his promise to protect them from harm. But diplomats who negotiated the release said any other outcome was simply unthinkable. Taking um, people working for international organizations as hostages is unacceptable. So it was extremely important to uh, get through this uh, mission. Organizing a hostage handover in this environment was far from straightforward. It has taken days of very delicate negotiations to reach this point, including the final say from the self-styled mayor of Slavyansk, Mr. Panamaryov. But the men from the OSCE are now free and, as you can see, returning home.